Let's talk about the new hard surface z-remesher algorithm. In order to do that, we need to have a, an object to work with. So let's grab a cube 3D out of, our, out of our primitives, go into edit mode, hit make poly mesh 3D. Let's go ahead and turn on poly frame so we can see it. And to see it even better, let's switch our material out to skin shader 4. Now if we go over here to subtool, we can go down here to append, and we'll just grab a cylinder out of there. And because we appended it, it's already a poly mesh 3D. So let's hold down shift and we'll rotate this, hit W to go into gizmo mode, then hold down shift. And we'll go ahead and scale this down a little bit and then scale it out. And then we'll go ahead and just cut the bottom of this through. Now how I'm gonna cut through here is by using um, ZBrush Booleans, the live Boolean system. So I can go ahead and make this a subtractive mesh, turn on the live Boolean. And then if I turn off polyframe, you're gonna see we can just cut through here. So go ahead and make a cut through our object. And let's append another object here. Let's go to a sphere. We'll grab that sphere, and if I want to see it, I'll turn on polyframe temporarily. We'll hit W, and we'll just go ahead and take a chunk out of this top part here. And just for something else to demonstrate, I'm actually going to take this cylinder here. We're going to duplicate it. I'm going to go to the top here, hold down Shift. And if you're rotating a camera, if you hold down Shift, it'll snap to the top. And we'll go ahead and scale it this way, and we'll move this one out. We're going to use this as a subtractive mesh as well. For this side here, we're just going to put a cylinder right into the side of this object here. We'll go ahead and scale it down a little bit. Let's kind of punch that in. If we turn off polyframe and we make the subtractive mesh, we'll make all of these subtractive. You're going to see this is the result we're going to get. Now, just like when we were talking about the folders earlier, we're getting some faceting around these cylinders. Uh, the sphere I don't care about too much, but for these cylinders specifically, I can go down here to the crease menu underneath geometry crease. We can just, uh, with the crease tolerance set to 45, we can just hit that crease button. And then under dynamic subdivision, you can turn on dynamic and that'll smooth that out. If I turn on polyframe, you're going to see what that's doing. If I hold on Alt and tap where that other cylinder was, this one will show up in the exact same thing. Crease, dynamic, and you're going to see it's going to give us a dynamic preview. If I turn polyframe off, you're going to see we're going to get a nice smooth transition around where those cylinders are. Now, I want to see the result of these Booleans. Again, they're live Booleans, so if I move these things around, uh, they'll interact and update live. Uh, but if I want to actually use that geometry to Ziri mesh, or I want to get a version of this I can model with now with all these cuts in it, I can go down here to the Boolean under subtool menu. There's a Boolean folder. We can turn on, make sure you turn on dynamic subdivision so we get those nice clean cuts. Hit make Boolean mesh, and that's going to throw a U mesh out here. Now, if we turn on polyframe, you're going to see this is the resulting geometry. Also, it's going to look like the resulting geometry if you did something in like a CAD program and exported it as an STL. If you want to import those, by the way, under Z plugin, there is a 3D print hub and you can import and export STLs. So here's your import STLs. Uh, also, if it exports like OBJs, of course, all you have to do is go to tool import and that'll import uh, OBJ files. Or you can go to Z plugin FBX and you can import FBX files. But let's say you get geometry, no matter what the source is, if it's from a Boolean or it's CAD data, if you wanted to get new geometry for this, what you could do is you can go down here to geometry and you go to Ziri Mesher. 